ay this is engineer layer magsagot tayo ng refresher set sa algebra. Uh, problems 41 and so on hanggang matapos na. Problem 41. Clay Thompson left from Warriors game at past 3 p.m. as indicated in his watch. Between 2 to 3 hours later, he returned at Oracle Arena and he noticed that the hands of the watch are interchanged. At what time did he left his home? So, ulat natin dito yun, no? Okay. So, alam natin na umalis siya, pasado alas stress na. So, we know that the hour hand should be pointing between 3 and 4 kasi okay, hindi natin alam kung anong minuto yun. So, ito pating siya ulit ng uh, 2 to 3 hours from 3 something. No? Ang, ang oras nito is 3 something. Hindi natin alam kung anong minuto. Pero bumalik siya ng 2 to 3 hours. So, kung 2 to 3 hours yun, between 2 and 3 hours, so that should be between at hindi mo alam yung minuto. So, between 5 and 6 uh, p.m. So, ibig sabihin, nung dumating siya, the hour hand will be between 5 and 6 p.m. Katulad nito. Now, nag-interchange yan. Ibig sabihin, yung minute hand nung original, nandoon sa position nung between 5 and 6. Yung minute hand naman nung bago, nung pagdating niya, nandoon sa position nung between 3 and 4. Yan to. Okay. Now, let's let's set yung 12 o'clock as our reference. Okay? And you will see is that we have this angle. Let's call it angle A. And angle A is based from the original. That is 3 times 30 degrees. Okay, 3 times 30 degrees kasi 1, 2, 3, 30 degrees bawat isa. Plus, yung maliit na angle na to, okay, yung maliit na angle na yan, which is equivalent doon sa minute hand niya over 2. And let's call this uh, minute hand M1 at ito naman ay M2. Okay, so minute hand 1, in first case, divided by 2. Now, Based on the bottom diagram, nung dumating na siya, okay, if this is angle A, we can see that A is equal to the angle that the minute hand makes. And the angle that the minute hand makes is 6 times the number of minutes. So, 6m sub 2. From here, we know that... Uh, no? Equal tong dalawang to. So, we have 90 plus m sub 1 over 2 is equal to 6m sub 2. And rearranging our equation, you will get m sub 1 minus 12m sub 2 is equal to negative 180. Okay. So, that is the first equation based on the angles nung smaller part natin. Now, tignan natin yung larger part. Itong part na to. Let's call that angle B. Now, angle B, from the first diagram, nung umalis siya, is equal to the angle uh, traversed by the minute hand. So, angle B is equal to 6 times the number of minutes doon sa unang diagram. Now, from the second diagram, yung dumating na siya, we can see that the angle is equal to the angle traversed by the hour hand which is 5 times 30 plus yung ambag nung minute hand na m sub 2. So, m sub 2 over 2. Both of this is equal to b. So, pwede natin silang i-equate as 6m sub 1 is equal to 150 plus m sub 2 over 2. And uh, arranging the equation, we get 12m sub 1 minus m sub 2 is equal to 300. So, we have two equations and two unknowns. Solving for m sub 1 and m, and m sub 2 using our calculator as equals and we get x or m sub 1 is 26.43.
and m sub 2 is 17.20. So, we are interested doon sa original time nung umalis siya. So, we are to get m sub 1. Ibig sabihin, the time that uh, he left his home is 3, 26.43 uh, 26 minutes, 3.26 p.m. So, this is the answer. The next problem is a situational problem. And this is for problems 42 to 44. Resolve into partial fractions. Find A, B, and C. That, that is the questions. No? Ayan yung, yung, partial, uh, yung partial fraction natin. We are to compute B, A, and C. May isulat ko na dito yung equation. No? Ang gagawin ko, multiply ko yung buong equation ko nung denominator na x plus 2 uh, x squared minus 1. And x squared minus 1 is actually x minus 1 or x plus 1 x minus 1. Imumultiply ko yung buo. So, this side of the equation multiplied by this, mawawala lang yung denominator niya magiging 10x squared plus 9x minus 7. And ito namang side na to, we have A times this factor. Maka-cancel yung x plus 2. So, ang matitira is x plus 1 at saka x minus 1. Then, we have B. Uh, B. Ang matitira is x plus 2, x minus 1. And then, we have C times x plus 2, x plus 1. Now, the trick here is mag-assume ka ng values ng x na magiging 0 yung coefficient no other uh, variables. Kung wari, we are looking for A, we are solving for A, let's assume that okay, let x is equal to negative 2. Pag ginawa mo kasing negative 2 yan, this becomes negative 2 plus 2 and ito ay negative 2 plus 2 magiging 0. And 0 times C e and 0 times B, they, they will vanish doon sa equation natin. So, let x equals negative 2 and ito ang matitira sa'yo. Simplifying this side of the equation, we get uh, 10 times 4 times 4 minus 18 minus 7. This actually is equal to 15. And then ito naman, pag sinimplify mo, magiging 3a. And dividing both sides by 3, we now know that a is equal to 5. So here is one of our answers. a is equal to 5. So let's solve for b. So nating masolve si b. So anong gagawin natin? Ang factor na wala kay B is x plus 1. So maganda, we let x is equal to negative 1. So pag naging negative 1 to, may kita mo, this is x plus 1. So negative 1 yung x, magiging 0 yung part ng A, magiging 0 rin yung part ng C. Okay, let's do that. Negative 1 plus 1. May kita mo dito, negative 1 plus 1, so 0 tong part na to, which means the whole term ng A is 0. Ito rin, negative 1 plus 1, the whole term ng C is 0. And we are left with this equation na bilang yung missing. So, 10 squared, uh, 10 times negative 1 squared minus 9 minus 7 is negative 8. Okay, so we, ito naman ay 1 times negative 2. So, we have negative 2B. And therefore, B, B is equal to 4. We let x is equal to 1. Okay, we have 10 times 1 squared plus 9 times, okay? So, ito ay, this is simplify mo as 10 plus 9 minus 7. This is 12. And C naman, ang magiging coefficient niya, ito ay 3, ito ay 2. So, we have 6C. C is therefore equal to 2. Okay? So, balikan natin, no? Yung B mo ay 4, yung C mo ay 2, and yung A mo ay 5. Okay, B is 4, C is 2. So, ito yung kompletong sagot natin. For problems 42, 43, and 44. Find the remainder of 3x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus 5 when you divide it by x plus 2. Now, we can do it the long method. Pero mamaya, ipapakita ko yung long method sa ibang problem. But when, okay, when we are dividing by a single degree polynomial, we have what we call the, the Chinese remainder theorem. Okay. So, let 
f be a function on x, and if you divide it by x minus a, you get a function of x plus the remainder, and the remainder is actually equal to f of a. Paano yun? Ipakita natin, no? f of x is this uh, equation. 3x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus 5. You divide mo ng x minus a. So, yung x minus a ko, yan yung x plus 2. Therefore, a is equal to negative 2. Now, para makuha daw yung remainder, ang gagawin mo lang, substitute mo yung a doon sa original equation. So, 3, substitute a. So, we have negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 plus 5 and then we solve this uh, value. So, so we have negative 7. The remainder is negative 7 or ang pwede natin gawin, we can use our calculator and just evaluate the value or the uh, function at that value. So 3. Okay. Now, pag na-type nyo na sa calculate yung function, to evaluate it at a certain point, you need to calculate the function at that point. So that's why we have this calculate button. Okay, we calculate the function at x is equal to, substitute mo yung x equals negative 2, and then press equals, and you will see that at x uh, is negative 2, at x equals negative 2, the function has a value of negative 7. So our answer is negative 7, and that is also the remainder when you divide the function by, or the polynomial rather, the polynomial by the, by x plus 2. Now, we have here a simple uh, question. Binibigyan na tayo ng break, no? Parang pahinga. And you, you can evaluate this uh, rather quickly. Ito type lang natin sa calculator to. So, we have 5x minus 3x, yung gamitin mong variable, x is equal to 1. Tapos, 16. So, find the summation of 5k minus 3 from k equals 1 to k equals 16. So, type mo lang sa calculator as is. And then, press equals. At yun na, 632. The answer is letter A. Problem 47. The power eh, that is required to operate a turbine varies directly as the cube of the speed. So, in mathematical uh, expression, if we let power, okay, if we let power is P and speed is S, this means that P is proportional to S cube. Oh, no? Or to make it an equation, we introduce what we call the constant of proportionality. So P, K, S cube. Itong K na to, yan yung constant of proportionality. Pag nagsusolve tayo ng ganitong mga problems, the first step uh, that you can try is to solve for k or the constant of proportionality. And doon sa unang uh, uh, event or unang situation, we are given that kapag ang piko is 1 half horsepower, s is 100 rpm, revolutions per minute. Okay, so substituting these values, we have 1 half is equal to k, 100 cube. We can solve for k, which is 1 over 2 times 100 cube. So now, our equation becomes p is equal to 1 over 2 times 100 cube times s cube. Now, when p is 4, gusto niyang malaman kung ano yung s or yung speed ng turbine turbine natin. Solving for S, we get 4 times 2 times 100 cube, and then a cube root natin. So we have S using our calculator. Okay, the answer for S is 200 RPM. So ganun, no? Kapag meron kang mga uh, variation, no? varies, varies, inverse, directly varying uh, mga variables. It's always uh, a good technique to first determine yung constant of proportionality given the 
given situation sa tulad ng ginawa natin dito. Problem 48. Find the remainder if 5x squared minus 2x cubed plus 3 is divided by x squared minus 4 minus 2x. So, sinulat ko na siya dito. And ang una ko mapapansin, hindi naka-arrange yung exponents ko. Nandito yung 3, nandito yung 2, nandito yung constant, nandito yung x. So, ang gagawin ko, i-re-write ko siya and then I will do long division. So, i-re-write natin. We are divided by our quadratic uh, expression which is x squared minus 2x minus 4. So, dito ko ituturo yung long division. Dito natin re-review it. Now, mapapansin mo, itong nasa loob ng division symbol natin ay kulang. No? Wala yung uh, coefficient ng x. So, ang ginagawa ko dyan, sinusulat ko yung 0x plus 0x plus 3. Paano? Now, long division, paano? Una, tingnan mo yung leading term mo. I-divide mo nung leading term ng pang-divide. So, negative 2x cubed divided by x squared. Ilan? We have negative 2x. Okay? And then, yung negative 2x na to, i-multiply mo sa x squared minus 2x plus 4. Ang mangyayari, we have negative 2x cubed, negative 2x times negative 2x, we have plus 4x squared, and then plus 8x. And as you, you know, from long division, isusubtract mo to dun sa original. Susubtract mo. So, since isusubtract mo siya, negative minus negative, mawawala na to. And then, we have 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So, matitira is x squared. 0 minus 8. We have negative 8x. And then, bring down 3. Again, yung leading coefficient, divide mo nung leading ng isa. So, we have plus 1. And then, multiply 1 dito sa ating pang divide. x squared minus 2x minus 4. And, isusubtract mo siya doon sa remaining uh, value. So, x squared minus x squared, 0, of course, cancel. Negative 8x minus negative 2x, we have negative 6x. And 3 minus negative 4, we have positive 7. Yung leading coefficient ko cannot be divided by x squared, so we know na ang remainder is negative 6x plus 7. Itong natira sa dulo. Okay, so this is our answer for the remainder. Ganyan yung long uh, division ng polynomials. Nire-review lang natin. So kanina, gumamit tayo ng shortcut. Ngayon, ginamit natin yung standard method para ma-review tayo. Next problem, this is a very uh, basic problem na nanluloko lang, no? So we have here a minus x, b minus x, and so on hanggang z minus x. No, parang ang hirap sa umpisa kasi a minus x, b minus x, c minus x. So, kung itutuloy mo yan, ito muna, ita times mo, magpo-foil ka, we have a, b, uh, minus bx, minus ax, plus x squared. And then, multiply mo sa c minus x, and distribute mo yung c isa-isa, sa -isa, x isa-isa, distribute mo. After nun, may makakuha ang sagot, multiply mo naman sa d minus x, and so on, hanggang umabot ka ng z minus x. But this is actually a trick question. Kasi, somewhere down the line, sulat ko siya dito, no? We have, ano susunod? Meron kang w minus x, x minus x, y minus x, bago yung z minus x. So, kung may kita mo, meron kang term na x minus x. This is 0. So, kahit ano pang i-times mo dyan, kahit gano pa karami yan, the value will be equal to 0. So, this is our answer. So, yung mga problems, minsan, gagamitan lang natin ng logic. No? Kailangan logical tayo. No? May rason. So, consider the sequence 9, negative 3, 1. Which term is negative 1 over 243? So, ito yung sequence natin. Una, i-check natin. Is this an arithmetic, uh, arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression? I-check natin. May common difference ba? Mukhang wala. Mukhang wala. So, hindi yan arithmetic. 
Pangalawa, i-check natin. Is this a geometric progression? Geometric. May common ratio ba? Sa unang tingin, parang wala. Pero, i-check natin. Negative 3 divided by 9 is negative 1 third. Okay. That is the ratio of the second term and the first term. And then, we have 1 divided by negative 3. It's negative 1 third. There is a common ratio na negative 1 third. Therefore, this is a geometric uh, sequence. Now, identify natin yung parts ng geometric sequence natin. We have a sub 1 is 9. The first term is 9. The ratio, the common ratio is negative 1 third. At ay nahanap pang ilan si negative 1 over 243. So, assume ko na pang last siya. So, kung pang last siya, that's n. Ilan si n? Okay? Now, ang geometric sequence, a sub n, is defined as yung una times r raised to n minus 1. So, isa-substitute lang natin lahat dito sa equation na to. At makukuha na natin yung n. Kasi given lahat eh, a sub n is negative 1 over 243 or negative 1 over 3 raised to 5. Okay? Pwede mo rin isulat ng ganito. These are equivalent. Is equal to the first term, 9. 9 is 3 raised to Okay, 3 squared yung 9 times the r, which is negative 1 over 3 raised to n minus 1. May kita mo n lang yung missing sa equation na to. And then, okay, I've copied the part on another blank sheet. So, ito na yung equation natin. Okay, paano natin to i-simplify? Ang ko, Okay, I can rewrite this as negative 1 third raised to 5. Yung 3 squared is actually negative 1 third raised to negative 2. No? Parang magic, no? Paano nangyari yun? So, negative 1 third raised to negative 2. Yung 3 squared, naniniwala ko, equal yan sa negative 1 third raised to negative 2. Yung negative means reciprocal, kaya babaliktad siya. Tapos, Pag in-square mo yung negative sign, mawawala. So, equal sila. So, equal yan. Times negative 1 third raised to n minus 1. Dividing all sides or pwede mo actually reciprocal lahat. Pwede mo tong isulat as negative 3 raised to 5 para mas madali no? para sa akin. Negative 3 raised to negative 2 times negative 3 raised to n minus 1. Tinanggal ko yung pagiging fraction nila. Now, dividing all sides by negative 3 raised to negative 2. Nung nakaparentesis yung negative sign, we have negative 3 raised to 7 is equal to negative 3 raised to n minus 1. n minus 1 is equal to 7 or n is equal to 8. So, pang 8 term, si negative 1 over 243 is at the 8th term nung sequence natin. Tapos na natin sa wakas yung... Uh, refresher set ng algebra. Next time, pupunta naman natin yung iba. So, this is the last video for this set. Okay? Susunod so, natin is siguro solid mensuration, trigonometry, analytic geometry, those things. Okay? So, comment below uh, what you think. Sana nakatulong sa inyo to. We have solved 50 problems already and magsusolve pa tayo ng mas marami. Abangan nyo. And thank you for listening. Like min video ng ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo hindi dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.